today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to defend Gun Bunch in Madden 24. This is uh, really any bunch it can apply to. It can apply to West Coast Bunch. It can apply to Bunch Offset. Um, and this is out of the Nickel 3-3. Now, if you want to get my full Nickel 3-3 uh, defensive ebook, join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. And you'll get access to all of our uh, offensive and defensive ebooks by being a member in the Patreon. Now, again, we're in the 46 playbook here uh, for this defense. What I like to do with this is we are going to run this on a base alignment, and we are going to be utilizing uh, the play Tampa 2. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the blitz. We know that in nickel 3-3, we get a plus one advantage if we just blitz this linebacker, walk him out so that he's on a contain, and then we're going to click off. And we want to stand just to the left of the center, and then you can feel free to drop you know, whatever coverage you want to drop you can drop that slot corner, and essentially what will happen is you will get this little kind of passive pressure loop disengage uh, pressure off of that edge. I'll show it to you again here. We'll actually audible to cover for a drop just to make it a little bit more easy uh, to show the pressure. So again, I like to pass him, and I do think this makes this blitz a little better. And what you'll see here, blitz comes in, and they're not able to pick up the blitz, Okay. So the four-man pressure is really effective. We break all this stuff down in depth and how to actually get the pressure to come in consistently, even if they block a running back, in the Patreon. Okay, so you get access to all that. But the biggest idea here from a coverage perspective is how can we then make it so that when they block their running back, they still have to worry about pressure. What I like to do is I like to send the slot corner. So we're going to send the slot corner, and all we're going to do is we're going to manually re-blitz. Do not crash your line. Manually re-blitz that defensive end you're going to stand about right here and what you'll see is the pressure can still come in off of the edge and i'll show that again and then we'll get into the coverage adjustments that i like to use against bunch so again all we're doing here is we are walking this guy out blitzing him qb contain you want to get him out wide enough so he stays out there then i've pressed already we're going to manually re-blitz the defensive end that is on the slot corner side that's on a contain and then we're going to blitz our user and what you can see here is a lot of times this blitz can still come in, as you see right there, okay? So it gets really good pressure in. Now, what we're also going to do with this play is we are going to leverage the power of the vertical hook adjustment from the linebacker. Really, really powerful uh, adjustment with this defense. And then essentially what I like to do is we are going to scissor the bunch side. So we're going to play a scissor adjustment, or you can also put this guy in a hard flat. On the right side, we are going to roll the coverage because of the fact that a lot of times what people are going to do is they're going to try to throw corner routes. So we're going to go with a outside third over here on that side, and then we are going to go with a middle third to the safety. So you see, this is the coverage adjustments that I like to run. And then what this is going to do is it's going to take away the play verticals. And once we see this, we're just going to run over here because we know the pressure is coming in quick. And you see this is pretty decent coverage. Now, depending on the type of opponent you play, are they running more verticals? Are they running more, um, you know, I like to also mix this in with a send four, but I'll drop a hard flat from this nickel corner every now and then as well. So what that does is that makes sure that they can't just throw flat routes to the tight end, right? So let's say they play, uh, they maybe put like a little flood concept on the field like this. If they're bunches to the wide side, this will never get open. And what you'll see is this outside third will play the corner deep, and then your hard flat is going to be there for the tight end. Now, let's say, for example, that the bunch is to the short side of the field. Obviously, the rules change slightly, and so our coverage is going to change, right? So what we're going to do to the short side of the field is now we are going to want to make sure that we're really bringing a lot of pressure, okay? And we're going to utilize this cloud flat. So what I like to do over here, the only adjustment is actually a little simpler. The blitz is still the same. We're going to man up that bunch side solo wide receiver. We are going to hard flat the um, corner out there. And then we're going to leave a cover two shell over on the bunch side. This short side cloud will do a good job of kind of midpointing flat and corner routes. And then you also have the vertical hook still available to play the tight end. Another thing you can do is you can also run this, which is a simple cross man of this safety onto the slot receiver, which is pretty effective as well. Um, you know, but again, we'll just do it like this. And what you'll see, pressure comes in, and then you're lurking back to the crosser. Very effective bunch defense here out of the nickel 3-3. Three, three. 
And again, it's all centered around this, this four man blitz. And I honestly wouldn't send the five man pressure uh, until they absolutely make you until they're blocking a lot of people. They're blocking the running back, blocking the tight end consistently. You don't want to send the pressure if you don't have to four man pressure against send five out is really the best way to do it in this year's game. Guys, if you want to get the entire defensive ebook or any of our other ebooks, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. And for just $10, you're going to get access to literally everything over there. All of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, everything for just 10 bucks. You can join by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.